14th, National Mushroom Day. Love, love, love mushrooms. I don't think there's a mushroom that I haven't had or that I have had that I didn't like. Uh, love them all. It's funny though, when I was a kid I hated mushrooms, but now I absolutely love them. So today, we're going to do an appetizer today, stuffed mushrooms. Now I saw a whole bunch of different ideas, whatever, but in my mind I think of stuff that all pairs well with mushrooms. Like when you're having a steak or something and it's covered with mushrooms, I like a combination of blue cheese and walnuts and bacon and like all of that in a mushroom I think is great. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make this cheesy filling, a cream cheese based blue cheese, bacon, shallots, garlic, walnuts filling and we're going to stuff these beautiful baby bella mushrooms that i got okay starting off we'll just get jump right in here there's no specific recipe it's just a bunch of ideas that i thought up in my head and put together okay so get a bunch of uh, you know of these baby bellas they'll have the stem on them what you're going to do is or what i did is i took my melon baller and i scooped out the stem part of it well, don't throw them away though Chop them up into pieces, okay? Chop up a shallot and about two or three garlic cloves minced, okay? In a skillet, a little bit of olive oil, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. You're gonna saute all your chopped up, take all your stems, and even if you, if you buy your mushrooms in a pack, they're not all, unfortunately, they're not all necessarily this big. Sometimes you get little ones, or sm even smaller than that. <laughs> So take your little mushrooms that are in the pack, chop those up too, and just make a nice chop mix here. In our pan with our oil, we're going to saute our shallots, our chopped up shallots, our garlic, and our mushrooms, okay? We just want to cook all this down. This is all going to get added to our filling with our cheeses, okay? Okay, so we cook down our onion mushroom or shallot mushroom garlic mixture here just shut that off put that off to the side let that cool down a little bit because we're going to add it to our filling okay you can put your oven on to 350 start preheating that okay so get all your cleaned mushrooms and stuff get them in a pan that you're going to bake them in put that off to the side now in this big bowl i'm going to take eight ounces of cream cheese i'm using whipped cream cheese so it's nice and fluffy and able to mix up good. Plus, my favorite cream cheese in the whole world is Tempty whipped cream cheese. If you've never had it, you gotta try it. It's my favorite. So anyway, I'm gonna put that in there. To that, I'm gonna add about four ounces of crumbled blue cheese. Now, just like with anything, like me experimenting today and creating this off the top of my head, be creative when you go to the store and you look at stuff. Don't just get your regular crumbled blue cheese or gargonzola blue cheese once in a while. Mix it up. This is a smoked blue cheese. So it's going to add this smoky flavor to our dish as well. That's what I'm saying. Just try to, you know, think outside the box and be a little more creative. I also have an applewood smoked bacon that I crisped up. And I'm going to add that to our mix. And I have about maybe a half a cup of chopped walnuts. Because walnuts, blue cheese, it's almost like we're creating a... Uh, a cheese ball that we're gonna put inside all of our mushrooms. You know when you get those cheese balls with the nuts all on the outside and stuff? That's kind of what this is like. So it'll be definitely interesting. So I'm just gonna start by mixing this up while that stuff is cooling down. And then once you have this ready and your mixtures cool down a bit, you just wanna add this right to your mix here, okay? We're just gonna fold that in. Alrighty, so there's our mix here. I haven't tasted it yet. Usually, I eh, maybe I should, right? Where is the taste? In case it needs a little, I don't imagine it's going to need salt with the bacon. Oh my god, so good! All right, let's get going here because I gotta eat. In this bowl here, I have some seasoned panko breadcrumbs. Okay, so what you're going to do? I'm going to use my handy dandy ice cream scoop for this today. Let's see if I can make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to stuff my mushroom, but then I'm going to dip it in the breadcrumbs, okay? So that way 
it coats the top of it with these panko seasoned breadcrumbs, okay? Into my pan. And I'm just gonna do that with all of these. Now, the cool thing about this recipe, I was thinking as I was going along, is even if you have too much mix here, let's say you have a lot more mix left over, this would probably be amazing inside, stuffed inside a chicken breast. <laughs> And then just panko coat the outside of the chicken breast. So then when you cut into it, you got this oozy cheese mixture with the mushrooms and the blue cheese. Oh, I'm going to have to try that with whatever's left over. If there's anything left, I hope there's a little bit left. Alrighty, so I'm going to finish stuffing these and I'll be right back right before these go in the oven. Okay, there they are, all done. Stuffed, ready for the oven, as I hoped. There's a good amount left here that I could probably stuff two chicken breasts with the rest of that. So that's going to go back in the fridge and that'll be... A dinner tonight, tomorrow, somewhere along the way, maybe on Sunday, I don't know. Um, into our oven 350, about 15-20 minutes. I drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil as well. And we're just going to bake them till they all get nice and crispy and golden on the top. You're probably going to get some cheese that oozes out the sides of these, and that's okay, because then you're just going to scrape it off the bottom and put it back in. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see when these come out for the taste testing. I can't wait to eat these today. There they are, nice and golden brown on the top. I already got one out, ready for the tasting. I just want to slice this in half so you can see what we got here. Look at that. You got that gorgeous filling all throughout your mushroom. This is going to be really good. Okay, so let's give this a taste today. It's going to be super hot because it just came out, but that's okay. You get some crunch from the walnut. You get this great flavor from the blue cheese and the bacon. And then the meatiness of the portobello mushroom, the baby portobello. Perfect. This is a winner today, everybody. Great, easy appetizer to put together. I hope you all give this one a try. It is mushroom day, so you can do whatever you want. Do more salad. Do chicken more salad if you want. Do anything. Anything with a mushroom is good for today now it's also just to add a little something to it to today uh, I'm gonna go pour myself a glass of red wine to eat with my mushrooms because it is national red wine day so pick a red that you like it'll go really well with the blue cheese in this it's also national I love Lucy day <laughs> because the show aired back in 1951 today on October 15th and I love me some I Love Lucy. So I'm going to take my mushrooms, my red wine. I'm going to go sit, have an I Love Lucy marathon. And we'll catch you all tomorrow. All righty? See you then.